Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the channel in Auto Addiction. Right now we're heading up to my work. I just got off work, worked all day, went home, saw the family for a little bit, and then uh, we're gonna head up here and try to get some work done on the F-250 build for Daytona truck meet. So you guys, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everybody's support. Everybody's super pumped about the OBS build. It's a 1997 Ford F-250, 7.5 liter, four-door so I originally bought this truck back in 2011 and after we had our son uh, had some hospital bills so I had to sell it I bought it from the second owner uh, I still had the help caps on it it was all factory I lifted it put the wheels and tires that are on it now and I sold it to a guy down in West Palm Beach Florida he had it for about three and a half years and I ended up buying it back off of him so he only put about 8,000 miles on it in three and a half years. We just kept in contact through emails and stuff. He was a really cool guy. And uh, so he called me up and said, hey man, I'm looking to sell your truck. I wanted to offer it back to you first. So I said, heck yeah, man, I appreciate it. Me and my brother rolled, rolled down to West Palm. It's about a three hour drive from me. I picked it up. I had it for about two years. And then uh, we decided to refreshing it a little bit so it's been at paint now for about 15 16 months so i uh, just got it back from them uh this weekend I, they still have all the glass out of it but i wanted the glass out so i could put the headliner and stuff in and uh, they still gotta cut and buff it and do some other things but we're gonna get what we can get done this weekend so that way i can get them back over to them monday morning they can finish doing their thing uh it's about 90 days away from daytona truck meet so crunch time as everybody calls it we're gonna try to get it done so that way you guys can see it in daytona so if you're following the channel let me know where you're following from comment below and uh so we're about to roll up into the shop and i'll see you guys at the shop and we'll get some work done Alright guys, what's up? We're here working on the F-250. Hope you guys can hear me. Alright, so didn't get as far as I wanted tonight, but uh, I'll plug in a video at the end of this for the cab lights. I got all the carpet ripped out of it. I'm starting to do all the sound editing material across the back. I'll do the floor. I got some stuff, insulation and stuff for the roof, so I'm going to do all that tonight. So, sneak peek at the cab lights, which I'll put that video at the end of this one. And here she is, guys. So, last video, we cleaned up all the interior and stuff. Uh, I put a picture up on Instagram if you guys saw that. But it still needs to get cut and buffed. I gotta put all the door handles and stuff back on, but pretty stoked, dude. She's getting there. So, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna try to get ready in the next 90 days for Daytona. Uh, I got a lot of work to do. See my interior is completely gutted. I cleaned up my dash and stuff, man, because it was so dirty and dusty from being in the paint shop. So I still don't, don't have any glass or anything in it. So, so I'm gonna try to get the headliner and stuff in tonight. So you can see where I cleaned up the dash. My dash pad's still in awesome shape. Try to get all the sound editing things, and then uh, once I get it all done. And I'll uh, shoot back to another video so show you guys what the finished product looks like. Hopefully I'll have a headliner in tonight too. So not gonna film too much of me working because I'm trying to get it done. It's you know already late. I said I worked all day today and then came back up here tonight and try to get some stuff done. So try to get it ready for you. But hope you guys enjoy, man. It's been a long time coming. Super stoked to get this thing back on the road. Got the van rocking over there. Somebody asked if I was getting rid of the van. No, the van's staying. It'll be at Daytona Truck Meet too. 96 E150 lifted two inches. Yeah, it's two-wheel drive, but 
still looks pretty sweet. Got my train horns fixed. So, so there's the van. We're gonna get to work and uh, see you guys in a little bit. Just wanted to give you guys an update. There she is. So I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Alright guys, so I want to give you guys a update where I'm at. I got most of the dynamat material stuff put in. It's not dynamat. It's a different brand. It's off of Amazon. You know, it's only about two dollars a square foot, so a little cheaper than dynamat. Dynamat's probably a little better. I've dealt with dynamat before. It's a little thicker. Um, but I got the back of the cab lined, pretty much the whole floor lined, and. And I bought insulation and went in between the roof seams with all insulation. So about to put the headliner back in. Just wanted to give you guys a shot of where we're at before we put the headliner back in. So yeah, this stuff was pretty easy to work with. Um, cut it with a razor blade. Dynamat's a little stickier, um, but this stuff should hold up just well. You know, it'll be way quieter than it was before. So anything better anything's better than what I had in there so being back in 1997 then it really put a lot of insulation and stuff like that in the cabs so it should help with uh, heat and everything so all right guys we're gonna get on to the headliner and then uh shoot shoot another clip we'll see you guys in a minute so one of the things that happened at the shop is my inner door handle on the driver's side broke so got a nice new handle over there just gonna go ahead and replace this handle too while I got it, you know, the panel and stuff off. So, see, just a new handle looks a lot nicer. Um, but it's pretty easy to do if you're looking to replace the handle too while you're doing stuff. It's just an 8mm bolt, you know, pretty much pull the bolt out. It's got one little notch on the bottom um, where the bottom of this lines up. So, it's right down in here. So, just undo that bolt, put it back in, and uh, you're good to go. So I'm gonna switch that out real quick and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Alright guys, just like that, got a new door handle put on there. So maybe you can pick these up from the parts store. I mean they sell I'm sure they sell metal and built ones online, but I think I got both of them it was like under 15 bucks. So I figured if I did the left one I might as well put a new right one on there. And then I'll probably get new ones for the rear doors and put those on there too, but they only had two in stock, so Yep, works out good, so figured you guys had had that problem before, so I just want to let you know it's the easy thing to do is pull a door panel off, one bolt, change out the handle, so uh, we'll get cranking on this thing some more. That sums it up for this video. Go here, show what we got done. It's late, tired. It's been a long day, but show you what you got. Put the headliner in. Nice new material. You see my fingerprints in it, which all that will come down because I use a thicker foam when I did the headliner. But looking all nice. Sun visor back in. Uh, got all the dynamat done, so. Also, if you guys are into OBS trucks, uh, go over and follow uh, Po Boy Diesel. Our po he's uh, he's building the OBS. He's doing a bunch of fire blast work and stuff. Local guy here from Florida. So I'm gonna get the shop cleaned up. I'll insert his uh, sticker right here. All right, so that's Po Boy Diesel. Check him out. And uh, let me get this shop cleaned up. Get on out of here. It's been a long day. But I appreciate all the support. Please hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of the truck. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted on the next video. Got this one done for you. So that's where we're at. I got about five, six hours into it right now. So... That's just what I did tonight. So, got my cab lights on. So, uh, I'll insert the video. The cab lights. I 
probably do it right here in a tablet video, but here's what they look like. And I'll do uh, show you before of the old marker lights and the old marker lights right here. Got my cab lights put in. Looking pretty sweet LEDs, smoke finish. What do you guys think? So I'll put a picture in here right after this video of the before and after lenses. But I think they look pretty good. I'll get some more work done on this thing. So that was the old style versus the new one. So still gotta get the hood and stuff put back on it. Still a lot of work to do, but got 90 days, boys. So and girls. So yeah, give me a follow. Please subscribe to the channel. Appreciate everybody. And uh, get this OBS going. So it was a long night, long day, but. When you got a project truck, man, you got four kids and you got a full time job and do side jobs, you got to do it when you can. So I still wanted to go home and just crash, but I had to come back up here and get some work done. So, all right, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.